before talking about carbs. This video we're gonna be talking about carbs cycling, but I wanna reiterate how important it is for you to watch the hierarchy of nutritional importance of previous video before you start focusing on carb cycling. If you're not eating for the right reasons, the right amounts, and you're not focused on the small but basic details, we don't need to start diving in super deep into carb timing and now carb cycling before we have consistency at the basics. All right, so if you haven't watched it, stop watching Carbs 4, go back, hierarchy of nutritional importance, all right? But carb cycling, let's talk about it. This is just gonna be the basics. We're not gonna get too deep. We're gonna come talk about a few things that you should do before you start this um, at the end. But why do we wanna do carb cycling? First off, it's a great way to achieve that weight loss goal that I know some of you have or a lot of you have. Um, we wanna focus on losing fat. So carb cycling is a great way to do that. As we've, talk, as we've talked about in other videos, excess carbs, not the right carb, the right amounts of carbs is gonna lead to that glucose being stored as fat because we're not using it in our muscles, we're not using it for energy, so it's gonna to lead to excess fat uh, in our body. So it's a great tool for weight loss, managing that piece, but it allows us to maintain a healthy metabolism. And that's what's really important about the cycling piece. A lot of you have done maybe a paleo challenge or a low carb diet that doesn't really have the cycle piece. And what that does is just stunt your metabolism. So we add those carbs back in when we're celebrating our great achievement of a paleo challenge or whatever it may be. And all that weight comes rushing back because our body is like, I don't need to burn these anymore because I'm not getting them. So what does it do? It doesn't store them as, as energy. It puts them right into fat. And here comes that weight rushing back. So the cycling aspect of this program allows us to keep a healthy metabolism, keep the body working, burning the right things for energy, storing what it needs, and getting rid of the rest. All right? So that's why you might want to try carb cycling. So how do we do this? Well, first, we're coming down here. We need to figure out our caloric needs, and most of you should already know that. We're gonna calculate that based on our goals. Hey, I want to gain weight, I wanna lose weight, I wanna maintain, I want to shift my body composition around, I want to perform at a high level. My body composition, where I'm at now, and then my activity level. How many days a week do I work out? Am I standing off my feet at my job all day? All those things play a part into how many calories I need. It may be 3,000 calories for me, it may be 1,500 for you, 2,200 for the girl to your left or right, or 3,500 for the guy that's trying to gain some weight. So, taking all those things into account, calculate our macro percentages. You can see just some foundations. These are definitely uh, numbers that we can play with, but calculate our macro percentages. So for low carbs, 20% carbs, so we are still getting some carbs on low carb, just not a bunch. 50% protein, 30% fat on that low carb day. Then for our high carb day, 45% carb, 40% protein, 15% fat. So you can see that fat carb is really what's switching back and forth, taking up that energy use that we need for the body. Doesn't matter if you're on low carb or high carb, your body still has to act and perform and do its do do its duty, so we gotta make up for it really in that fat if we're going low carb, all right? So calculating those things, again, these are just basics. Uh, these can be modified a little bit for you. And then we decide, hey, how do I wanna implement this, implement this in my week of nutritional planning? So a couple options here, as you can see, this is what I start out with, with a lot of my athletes, keeps things more constant, I can easily go from day to day without making huge changes on a daily basis. So four high carb days, two low carb days, and then we take that rest and refit day, kind of let our mind relax, let our body relax a little bit um, before we start the next week. So what that does, high carb, low carb, we start ripping that fat off, and then we have a rest and we do it all over. Next option, high, high, low, high, high, low, so we're still getting the same number of days, high and low, just taking that low carb day in the middle um, to kind of spur a little more weight loss so we're not going four in a row. It takes a little more planning and strategy. 
And then this, a little more advanced version, if we get to a point where we're just not seeing the progress that we want, if our goal is weight loss, we alternate between high, low, high, low, high, low. As you can see, one more day of low carb in there. As well, we're switching every single day, so a lot of planning, a lot of work uh, to keep track of that. So, a lot to do, calculations, deciding where you wanna be, I recommend starting up here. Easiest way to kind of set up your weekend or set up your week for success, all right? But, as you can see, a lot of work. So, important things to remember when we get to this point, again, we've already got all the basics down, now we're starting to get a little more advanced. Find a coach. It's a lot of work. Maybe you don't need that 100% accountability, but someone to help you get through this process a little easier is gonna set you up for success. And then we all need accountability. That's always gonna help. Hydration, hydration, hydration. That's gonna be key. Especially on our low carb, anything time we do low carb, it's gonna be hard to maintain water in the body. So you've got to be drinking constant water all the time, but specifically on this, pay close attention to your hydration. And then when we're going low carb uh, or carb cycling, unlimited veggies, okay, I've talked about that in other videos, your leafy green vegetables, the more you get in, the better. So many micronutrients, they're gonna set you up for success, as well as they're not gonna add that much caloric density to your diet, so you're gonna be able to get a lot of bang for your buck there, all right? Carb cycling, again, the basics, spurring that weight loss with putting carbs in, taking carbs out, uh, based on percentages and calculations, a little more advanced, so make sure again, please, 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 brilliance at the basics first. Watch that nutritional hierarchy of importance video, and if you wanna to get to this point, find a coach. We offer the services here, let us know, and this will definitely take you to the next level. All right, guys, that's a wrap for carbs. We'll see you on proteins and fats.